Yeah, look, it'll, it'll be a great game on a side note. And God, I think this could, this news could have broke on a Monday, and maybe it's probably for a separate this conversation. But I don't know, but you, Aaron, but it just it boiled me blood with the GPA and the GA about the expenses fallout. Apparently, Charlie, Charlie Burns was saying this morning that I think the expenses are so, finally being sorted. But I think obviously the likes of um, who raised the issue on Monday was it um, the full forward for our man he tweeted it, yeah. he, he tweets saying that you know the Armagh mm-hmm. boys didn't get their expenses and they've been trading since November um, your head would be fried looking at this kind of stuff like like you have to just like I, I did tweet saying we have to look after our players because of the product and I've said this to you a million times before you know, the managers are surely getting their pay, their money. The coaches are surely getting their pay, their money. The chairman, the secretaries, the PROs of all the county boards are surely getting yeah. their pay slips. Why, in the sweet name of God, are the players not getting looked after? Yeah, like, and, and I've seen online, I think, in an article or something. I don't, I don't know. It, it might have been balls.e or 42.e or someone who posted that apparently it was just a, a computer error. <laughs> It's what they're saying. Like uh, apparently there was a backlog or or something of that nature. Like and 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 it's kind of mad. Like as soon as Aiden Nugent and Aiden Forker was in the in the comments as well, mentioning that does does our man nearly even need to go on strike? And and look, obviously they're they're not just speaking for our man. Like this, they're they're speaking for every player. Um, because every player hasn't received. You know, like what Aiden Nugent said there was spot on. Like no player has received any expenses so far this year and it's because of some computer backlog issue or, or, or something of that nature and it's mad as soon as these players have come out to question the issue then all of a sudden it's you know the article comes out and it's like the GA have got something ready there you know this is this mm. is what's going on or whatever like every, everyone will be looked after but yeah like I mean you don't as you said probably a conversation for another day you don't want to delve too much into it here but yeah like especially with the cost of living crisis and everything that's going on it should yeah. be a priority, really, for them, you know. I know it hundred percent is, and like you know, from a student point of thing, like end of things, like if you're a student traveling up the road to Armagh, coming come from Dublin or Belfast, wherever you might be studying, and you're maybe mm-hmm. just on your grant or your scholarship that you might be getting, no, that's not going to suffice. That's not going to longevity maintaining yourself. That's not going to wash. So, like, I just keep saying it, like. Like everybody involved within a county team is 110% getting their money. The players, like, if it wasn't for the players, me and you wouldn't be talking tonight. We wouldn't be running a podcast. Like, as Aid Falker said, like, does it get to a stage where the players don't show up, where they don't have, they don't go to training, they don't go to the games, they don't show up? And then what happens? Like, what, what happens to all the commercials? What happens, happens to the boys in the suits walking around Crow Park? What happens then? Like, so, like, I, I think me and you have had this conversation the last three, four years, and it's been going on even longer than that. Look after our players, for the love of God. As Paddy Andrew said in the podcast during the week, the Off the Ball podcast, like players shouldn't be out of pocket representing their county. They're representing the county. They're doing you know, the sponsors on the jerseys. Like I'm seeing so many sponsors on jerseys these days on the side and there and the back and the whole lot. Who's getting that money? The players aren't getting that money. Pay the players, give them what they want. They're mm. putting fuel in their tanks of the cars. They're going, they're representing their county, they're representing their clubs. Yeah. Sort them out, look after them because if we don't have the players, forget about it. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I think you're spot on there in what you're saying, and I completely agree as well. And and like you know, it's it, it's it's so annoying at the minute because every seems like every week or two weeks you've a new thing in the in the controversy constant, the DA. And, and you know like we don't want to be complaining we don't want to be giving out you know about these things we want to be discussing the 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 good things you know the games and, and everything else that's what we should be discussing but it just seems like every now and then, like every couple of weeks it's just there's something else to discuss and there is and like the, the annoying thing is every time like if we don't discuss this if myself yourself Aidan Falker um, and the other man who brought this up on Twitter on Monday night if we weren't to discuss this or people weren't going to highlight this issue the issues wouldn't be solved so you need to raise the issue for the mm-hmm. GAF Gaelic Players Association <clears throat> whoever it might be in charge of the show at the minute. Because like, if people aren't raising concern on the issues, bring it into media, talking to journalists, doing whatever, I don't think these issues are going to be sorted. So I just think for large parts from an outsider looking in and people, obviously everyone has their own opinions, but it just feels the people who are, like as I keep saying, I don't want to sound like a broken record, like the coaches, the SNCs, the statisticians, you, you name it, whatever's nutritionists, like they're getting their paychecks. It, at, at times... 
the way the players are treated in the GA at, at the best times, you just feel like guinea pigs. And, you know, go on, lads, throw on that jersey. We, we'll run you to the bone. We'll do this, we'll do that. The coaches, who is getting well paid? The manager, who's getting very, very well paid? And the players, it's certainly like the players are just throwing on the jersey for the pride of the jersey at the minute. Last thing on it, just look after the players. Yeah, Rich, Richie says here, uh, the poi is big enough. Players are at the heart of the GA and their families pay them what they're due. No excuses. These players sacrifice a lot for our counties and entertainment. It's our national game. Look after it. And those that work hard for it, club and county. And yeah, like, mm-hmm. and it, you know, and let's not forget last year, the argument as well that was going around was that, you know, the players aren't even getting that much anyways. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, the, you know, they're barely getting on as it is. You know, it's not like it's a huge amount, you know, huge amounts coming in it's it's barely anything in the first place but you know as you say something is better than nothing so you know what i mean it's better in your pocket than someone else's do you know what I mean? oh no 100 percent. like it like you're you're talking about gate receipts and you're talking about like packed packed croke parks and you're talking about all our final days and like who or what like like i'm seeing all these like even uh, i i said this i think it was a shame it's james brady's podcast like i see even on the cavengers like like there's a sponsor there the sponsor there the sponsor there like who in the name of God is like who is getting that money? Like, are the players seeing any of it? Like, what is going on? Like, who is running the show? And just, I just think when, when, especially when an intercounty player raises an issue like that, and you know, have the GA, GPA released a statement about these expenses? No, they haven't. Have the GA released a statement about the expenses? No, they haven't as well. So, leadership failure once again. No leadership for the Glen Kilmacud uh, situation as well. So it's just. Like we see, you know, the president going to be elected tomorrow. No, Charlotte Burns is making a strong, strong case for it tomorrow. He he wants to go ahead with it. He spoke quite quite well on off the ball this morning. But look, is he going to be the man to drive the thing forward? I'm not sure either. But look, it's um, oh, it's it's just so bloody frustrating. Yeah, like and, and I'd high hopes for Larry McCarthy as well. Like I mean, coming in as president, the work he done uh, with with New York. But it, it's just. I know he like COVID, with COVID happening, it, it certainly wasn't easy to deal with. But I think yeah, from a from from start to finish, it's been an absolute mess. I mean, even at times it's he's been, getting the he's getting the players wrong, like players' names wrong. Do you know when he's it's, giving it's out been, the trophy, it, it's yeah. I, I, sorry to put in Aaron, but like I'm just I'm just uh, <laughs> the the blood pressure's up. But it's just been a disastrous from a PR point of view, from a, a player welfare point of view, and even this crack of lads playing the Sigerson and the county. I think it's been a disastrous start. Uh, for the GA, uh, for a disaster started new year for the GA, but I think that Glenn Kilmacud thing, this player's expenses, the player welfare. Oh my god, who's run the show? What's that comment there? Disgrace the players not getting paid 100%. GA charged five euro for absolute disgrace. They're making uh, the money, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. Charging kids into a game under 16s should be absolutely free into games. It's our national games. Let the kids play, let them run around at half time. They should not be charged under 16 should be free. And I think they were free for the under or for the division three games. But look, yeah, 100%. It's the men walking around with the suits with the county logos on them. Walking Walking around, as Kevin McGurdy says in my podcast, with the tea, tea and biscuits or sandwiches at half time, walking around talking all the absolute nonsense of the day. Oh, sort of players out, sort of players out. <laughs>